Hi, it's Esau from The Analyzer. Welcome to the first chapter of Google Data Studio Crash Course. In this chapter, we will talk about what is Google Data Studio and we'll cover some of the commonly asked questions regarding this tool, such as is Google Data Studio free to use, how to get started, and so on. So first question, what is Google Data Studio? It is actually a data visualization tool that can help you to connect to your data source, such as your Google Sheets, your Google Analytics, and so on. And then it can help you to visualize the data and finally share it across to your team or your clients easily with just one click. So what can we do with Google Data Studio? If you are a digital marketing agency, you may want to use GDS to create a web analytics dashboard that tracks all the important metrics that your clients want to see in the report. What's best about using GDS instead of spreadsheets is that the data updated automatically, so there will be no manual tracking needed. If you are managing a few clients, you can use back the same report template that you have developed for all the clients, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Next, if you are a business owner, you can use GDS to create a sales analytics dashboard that can help you to get insights on your sales so you can make informed decisions to grow your business. So this is what exactly we're going to develop in this crash course. We're going to do a sales analytics dashboard that analyzes your sales, the product insights, and when you filter from the filter, you can see all the data has been updated instantly based on the filter that you have selected. So from there, you can analyze the data and make the decision. Moving on, we'll go into the Q&A where we will answer some of the commonly asked questions regarding this tool. So first question, is there any prerequisite to create or view reports in GDS? So to view reports in GDS, we will need a web browser and internet because GDS is a cloud visualization tool. So everything is in the cloud, that means you will need to have internet to browse your report online. However, you don't need a Google account to view a report. So if your client is not using a Gmail, there's no problem with that. You can just share the link with them and they'll be able to view it. However, in order to create or develop a GDS report, you will need a Google account. It's free so you can get it. After you have get your Google account, just sign in. And after signing in, just go to datastudio.com and click the button, use it for free, and you shall be good to go. Similarly, you will also need a web browser and internet because all the development is done on cloud. What's the pricing for GDS? It's completely free if you use native connector to connect your data. However, if you are using some third-party connectors like Supermetrics, Gladier, they are paid services, which means they will be maintaining and developing the connector in order for you to connect to the data source that you want. So if there are any available native connector for your data source, you don't have to pay to use GDS for your reporting. Here are some of the examples for free of charge connectors such as Google Sheets, BigQuery, Google Ad, Google Analytics, and YouTube. So we'll cover in more detail where you can find this connector in the chapter 2. Next question, is Data Studio suitable for complete beginners? Yes, I think it's a great tool to get started in learning how to build a dashboard. Based on my personal experience, Data Studio is more straightforward and easy to learn as compared to some more advanced BI tools like Power BI and Taboo. If you are already familiar with Google Sheets or Excel, then I think this would be more easier for you to pick up. That's the last question of today. If you have any questions that I haven't covered, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I will make sure to read them and answer them as far as I can. Do like, comment and subscribe to this channel if you like what I do here. So stay tuned for the next chapter where we'll get our hands dirty and start creating dashboard in Data Studio. See you next time. Bye bye.